Welcome to the Glenn Beck Program. I want to start with some audio from the wife of the Ground Zero Imam, Faisal Abdul Rauf. Her name is Daisy Khan, and here's what she said on TV this weekend about the opponents of the Ground Zero Mosque. Watch. I think we are uh, deeply concerned uh, because this is like a metastasized anti-Semitism. That's what we feel right now. It's it's not even Islamophobia, it's beyond Islamophobia, it's hate of Muslims. All right, so now let me see if I have this right. Anyone opposed to the building of this mosque, it's just pure hatred of Muslims. It has nothing to do with a few questions, like where is the money coming from to build this mosque? Who is involved in this mosque? And where is her husband right now? Where is he? He's going around the world on your taxpayer dime doing outreach to Muslim countries. Basically, his job is to tell everyone how wonderful America is. May I ask a question? Am I the only man in America that's married to a, to a woman where we'd have these conversations? How is it possible when his wife is saying that this is all hatred against Muslims in America, can someone ask a common sense question? Have these two chatted recently? Has the conversation not popped up in the Abdul Rauf household? What is he saying over there? Wouldn't it be kind of an important thing to sort out before we send this guy around the world as an ambassador to the United States? If this is what his wife is saying about America here in America, what is he saying to, about America to others around the world? And I'm sorry if it sounds a little paranoid, but there are radical, uh, radicalized Muslims who would like to kill everybody in America and destroy the Western way of life. So we're a little sensitive on the topic. Something doesn't add up here. Let me ask you this question. If you were an ambassador and you were going around talking up America and saying how great it is for you and people like you, and your wife went on ABC television and said, well, this is just straight up hatred for all Muslims, would you at least send her a text? No, no. In today's America, you'd just be called a hate monger for even considering it.